Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Esther. I'm the queen of this house. And I would like to welcome all the new subscribers on behalf of my human. She is not feeling up to greeting you all today, so while I comfort her, I hope that you enjoy this video that she did a couple of weeks ago. If you saw the last video, you'll understand why she is not showing her face and why this video has been very much delayed. We do apologize for the delay in welcoming all the new subscribers and in thanking the YouTube Underground for the wonderful shout out that she gave us. So I would ask you all to wash your grubby human hands and get your gear ready to bake a wonderful cake. See you in the kitchen. You're gonna need a nine by 12 baking pan and you're gonna wanna grease and flour it. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, what you're gonna need is three cups of flour, two cups of sugar, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vanilla, two tablespoons of vinegar, a half cup of vegetable oil, and two cups of water. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a large bowl and pour in all your dry ingredients. And then you're gonna whisk them up. Now, with the back of a large spoon, we're going to make three holes in our dry mixture. They don't have to be pretty. Okay. Now, into these three holes, we are going to pour our vanilla. vinegar, and the oil. I did not make that hole big enough, but that's okay. Because we're about to pour our two cups of water over the entire thing. Now stir it all up.
Once your cake is cooled, you can frost it in whatever way you prefer, or have it plain. Um, I prefer to use a glaze rather than like a heavier buttercream, but that's just me. Um, I chose to do a fresh orange glaze on this one. Um, when I do the cake vanilla, I'll do like a lemon glaze on it, and that's really, really nice. I'll leave the recipe for the glaze in the description below, and I hope you enjoy your cake. Alright, peasants. There you have the wacky cake. As a side note, my human likes to poke hers with toothpicks and glaze it while it's still hot. This allows the glaze to soak into the cake, making it all the more moist and delicious. Not that I ever eat any, of course. It's full of chocolate and unnecessary sugars that would make me sick. But if you have a friend, or you yourself, are allergic to eggs or dairy, or you're vegan or vegetarian, this is the perfect cake for you. Just be careful with what you grease your pan. Don't use butter, obviously, if you're making it for someone who is allergic to dairy or is vegan. But you can use alternatives. So, I hope you all have a lovely day. Remember to pet your furry friends and to give them wonderful treats, but make sure that they're safe for them. We will see you all next time.